Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the math uh, instructions within the Horner XL4 all-in-one controller. So what we'll do is take a look at the um, instructions. So if we go over to our project toolbox and you'll see that we have math operations up here and the first one is the expression. This allows us to actually write an equation for our our math that we want to get solved. So we'll take a look at this in our program. But you can see also that we have like an, a dedicated add, subtract, multiply, divide, square root, absolute number. Um, so we, there's a several different basic math operations that we can perform. Also, we have an advanced math. And under the advanced math, we have the um, quite a few of them actually. Power of x. Um, we have sine, cosine, tangent. And then the inverse of those and convert to degrees, convert to radius. Uh, we also have scaling. So what we'll do is actually look at the scaling as well as the expression um, instructions within this controller. So as you see up on my um, screen here, I have, uh, well, four. We actually have five uh, math expressions instructions. And the first one here just takes our 100 and adds, um, that's the result, and takes R1 and R2, register 1 and 2, and adds them together and produces that result. So up on my screen, if I were to hit uh, my screen here, you'll see that um, I basically mimic exactly what I have up here. So we'll turn on the debug just to show you. Um, you won't see any numbers here, but you will see them on my screen as we as we go through. So the first number is five or 100. The second number is five, and the first number and second number added 105. And there, my second expression here is r1 minus r2, which gives me the value of 95. Then we multiply them, which gives me 500, and then we divide them which gives us a value of 20. On the bottom here, we actually have the degree C and the Fahrenheit equivalent. So if I put in um, minus 10, I get 14. So just to make sure that you know the program is running, if we uh, were to change this first number, and let's change that first number to 50. And we'll enter that. Now you can see that now my numbers all changed to corresponding. So um, 50 plus 5, 55, 50 minus 5, 45. First number times the second number to 50. And then the first number divided by the second gives me 10. Let's take a look at the, the degree C. And on the degree C, let's go to 0 C. And that's equal to 32 in Fahrenheit. So if I look at my screen here, you can see here's my equation to actually get me the uh, conversion. So also if we go degree C, we'll go uh, 28. And you can see that's 82.4. Now the last one we want is scaling. And the scale uh, feature, basically it will take a value in, a range in, so let's call it that screen. So in our case here, we're going from 0 to 5,000, and we're going to convert that to 0 to 100 in order to give me a percentage. So here is the actual instructions itself. You can see my input comes in here, and 0 to 5,000, and my output is here, 0 to 100, and it scales it between those two. So the instruction actually looks really good in terms of actually seeing what's happening. So as I move this um, slide switch up, okay, what we will see is the corresponding indicator. So if I try to get it around 50%, you see that the corresponding output here is 2,500. And I can go right up to 100%. And then we can take that right back to zero again. And you can see that anywhere in between will give us the corresponding needle and the percentage of what that 
uh, input is. This is very useful when we're doing analog and things like that where we need to scale the inputs to match what we want to do logic wise in the PLC. Now if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out. Number one you can give us a thumbs up uh, so other people can find this information. Also number two you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video here. You can also go to uh, accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website and then you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. Now the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about this site. All right, thanks for watching.